It's Independence Day, so let's talk about what's going on in America. Freedom, it's under attack in your state. Your Republican leaders, they're banning books, making it harder to vote, restricting speech in classrooms, even criminalizing women and doctors. I urge all of you living in Florida to join the fight or join us in California, where we still believe in freedom, freedom of speech, freedom to choose, freedom from hate, and the freedom to love. Don't let them take your freedom. Paid for by Newsom for California Governor 2022. Uh, uh, freedom of speech, yeah. California Governor Gavin Newsom is running campaign ads in Florida attacking Ron DeSantis and, and begging residents to move to his state, the People's Republic of California, from the freedom state of, of, of Florida. One of the freedoms he's talking about, of course, unlimited abortions. Meanwhile, Californians suffer under violent criminal rules, skyrocketing gas prices, and draconian vaccine mandates. Hey, Mary, judges temporarily blocked Florida's 15-week abortion law following the overturn of Roe v. Wade. We knew the left just wouldn't roll over, you know, Roe v. Wade went, once it was killed. They, they, they make too much money from the abortion industry, as everybody knows. Now, this should all shake out over time because now, thanks to Roe v. Wade going away, the courts have said that states do have the power to place limits on abortion, right? Oh, absolutely. But see, this is one of the things I admire about the left is they don't give up. They are fighters. And I, I think that the right could learn some lessons from them. They weren't, as you said, now we're just going to roll over. So I, I have to give them credit for that. Credit where credit is due. They fight. They fight for what they believe in, and they are tenacious about it. So uh, eventually, of course, this will sort out, and it's going to go the way the Supreme Court said it should have to go. But they're not going to go down without a fight. Liz Cheney speaking at the Reagan Library on Wednesday about the future of the Republican Party. <laughs> Inviting Liz Cheney to speak about the future of the Republican Party, isn't that kind of like inviting the CEO of Planned Parenthood to talk on the future of youth in America? <laughs> That's a great comparison and hilarious. But here's the thing. We're starting to see a, a, a kind of like a divide in the Republican Party that has always been there. And it really came out and showed itself when Donald Trump was president. Right. There are still a lot in the upper echelon, a lot of people in the upper echelons of the Republican Party who are very anti-Trump and not necessarily Trump, but the movement that Donald Trump gave birth to, which is that movement of people who love this country, make America great again, want to take control control back from the federal government. And that means taking control back from them. Right now, they have power. And Donald Trump showed American citizens that you can have the power again. So they hate everything he stands for. Liz Cheney, obviously, Adam Kinzinger, they're standard bearers, but there are plenty of them in the establishment in Washington, D.C. So I'm not surprised she was invited to speak on, as to the future of the Republican Party, because they, they probably secretly really like her. They just won't say it out loud. <laughs> 